Hello Scorpio, thank you for joining me at this time. Uh, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, I've decided to do this a uh, New Year reading just for the to cover the first, second, and third of January or thereabouts, 2021. Uh, it still feels strange saying that. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry if I do now and again slip back into 2020. <laughs> it's so, so easy to say it, isn't it? But um, but anyway. Um, Scorpio, I've pre-shuffled the cards. Um, I'm going to look at, uh, we've got the energy cards here that I have shuffled and swirled. So um, if with the energy cards, if any come out reversed, I do read them, they're reversed. They are the only deck um, I will read reverse. Um, and they are looking at what you're reflecting on um, for the past year over 2020. Um, and then the psychic tarot, which is what you're thinking about at the, in the here and now. What's important to you in the here and now? Um, and then the Oracle of Angels is about going forward into 2021. Um, so what is 2021, um, the new year, um, bringing in for you or um, influencing you or um, uh, making you think about perhaps? So let's just do a final shuffle of the um, energy cards. These are by um, John Holland. And we'll take one from the top, one from the bottom. Wow, so we have um, the world and we have second chakra, archangel, Ariel. So um, a final shuffle of the psychic tarot. Um, oh, I've told you wrong actually, the um, energy cards aren't by John Holland, the um, psychic tarot are by uh, John Holland, um, the energy cards are by Sandra Ann Taylor, yes, so I, and I apologise for that, um, oh, I'm, I've got where I was now and I'm talking so I'm going to, going to carry on, do some more shuffling and then I'll, I'll cut the cards again. Uh, meant to be, it's meant to be, isn't it? So, there we go. Right, so, current focus. All right, we have heartache and loss and sacrifice and which are the major arcana. Okay, and then going forward into the new year, Oracle of Angels. And um, these are by uh, Mario Duguay. Mario Duguay. Okay. So we have releasing, and we have energy. Beautiful. So. Okay, Scorpio, a reflection. What are you reflecting on, um, some of you, over the past year? Well, we have the world, um, and this is about um, a completion, um, a completion of a cycle, and this is what you're thinking about um, and re remembering for over the past year. Um, something has perhaps come to an end, a cycle that needed to complete, um, has completed or is completing for some of you Scorpio something some form of a completion and then the second chakra Archangel Ariel is a clarifier um, this is the energy center it's orange it's in your tummy area and this is to do with our needs and desires uh, passions creativity so it's those sorts of energies all right, so there's some form of a completion. Um, some form of a completion of a cycle and to do with um, our needs, wants, desires, uh, our, our source, the source of who we are. 
um, or somebody around us. Because it doesn't have to be just, you know, about yourself, Scorpio. It, this could be referring to um, somebody um, around you. Or it could be to do with a work situation, perhaps, or some other sort of um, creative, creative endeavour. Okay. Now, what you're thinking about in the here and now is heartache and loss. Um, and this is when our heart is breaking, but heartbreak, heartbreak. Um, although it comes from the, um, it's the Three of Swords in Ordinary Tarot, so this has come from the mental part of the deck, the swords are about the mind. Um, and so what you're, you know, in your mind is you're thinking about um, heartache and loss, something. Um, and it may well be connected to the, whatever this completion is, that you, you've, it's leaving you with a sadness. For some of you. Now we have the sacrifice, which is the major arcana, um, and this is about there's a, there's something for some of you. There's a sacrifice here. Um, somebody's having to come out or leave their usual environment and go into a strange environment. Um, I think as part of whatever this completion is, that. Um, Somebody's having to leave uh, a normal environment. Um, although they're going up to where the rainbows are and the beautiful flower fluffy clouds. Um, but whatever this sacrifice is for you, Scorpio, um, it's creating heartache and loss for you, sadness. And this is what some of you are thinking about in the here and now. And I do feel it's um, to do with the uh, the completion of something, of a cycle. For some of you. To the general reading, Scorpio, so it won't have meaning for all of you. Um, and then, going forward into 2021, into the new year, we have releasing. Um, and this, this card has come out quite a bit um, in the readings for the new year um, but this is about releasing that which no longer serves you um, uh, letting something go letting something go um, this connected to the heart and the um, solar plexus the heart chakra is about love and relationships and what's meaningful for our heart and we've already seen that there is a level of heartache and loss that you that you're currently thinking about um, and having to sacrifice something. Um, so, yeah, so release something, um, but also release um, an element of control uh, and autonomy and authority, which is the solar plexus. So it's a combination of the solar plexus, power and control, over the heart energy, um, which is releasing, perhaps releasing an attachment to something, having to let something go for some of you. Going forward, um, now then, as a clarify, we have the energy card. Um, and this is about, um, you see the figure, she's in, it looks like a stone circle. Um, so it's about finding your centre finding your place where you can draw and and absorb the earth and the universal energies to give you strength and energy so i feel there's a need there'll be a need to do that um as you're releasing and letting things go you may some of you may find you're feeling quite depleted particularly because of a completion um and your heartache and loss of sadness over something and having to sacrifice something whatever that is um and then of course you are releasing so your energy is likely to be quite depleted going forward so it's important to um tap into the earth energies universal energies find your peaceful space find your place where you feel looked after and nurtured i feel where you can build up your energy and feel safe and protected 
and boundaried. All right. Um, now, so of course, this is this reading is. I feel it's quite specific, and I feel it's particular particular for some of you. All right, Scorpio. I'm going to get a final message. Right, could we have one more message, please, for Scorpio for the new year, first, second, third of January, twenty twenty one. One more message, please, for Scorpio. All right, uh, Scorpio, we have the desert passage, yes, so this for some of you whoever this reading is for um it's going to be a little bit difficult um as the new year comes in going forward for um a certain period of time it won't last forever but for a certain period of time um it's negotiating your way through what will feel like a desert where there's no life, there's no water, there's no life source, if you like, but you've got to go through it. You can't um, change the journey, the path that you're on. Um, but this says, trust that there is a divine plan. You're not on your own. Um, we Here on the earth plane, we are very restricted, aren't we, to what we know, what we understand and what we can see. Um, however... Um, universally they have a broader picture so they know exactly what's happening what's gone where we are now where we're going so they're asking you to trust that there is a divine plan even though it's going to be difficult um, for you at times to uh, be able to see that all right um, but trust there is a divine plan. And, and the reason it's going to be difficult is because what you're thinking about is something that is completing or has completed, or right, an ending of something, um, and it certainly triggered your uh, so your solar plexus. Sorry, your sacral chakra, which is about your needs and and wants, and your very sort the very source of who you are. So, um, and of course, and currently, what you're thinking about is heartache and and loss of a, a sadness and a loss, and the, and having to sacrifice the fact the fact that sacrifice. Um, feeling that whatever this is, you're having to sacrifice something. Now, this could well be, for some of you, that there is something or somebody around you that it's completing and that you are feeling that sense of loss already and that you're feeling this um, a sacrifice. All right. Um, but, of course, going forward... Um, there's going to be a need to release any negativity. Don't hold it in. Don't hold any negativity as a result of these events, whatever they are. And whoever this is for, you will know what it is, Scorpio, because these events are already in place. Um, so it's important not to hold on to them, that pain, as much as possible. Try to release. And you'll do that as you um, are looked after, if you like. And, and nurtured and drawing on um, the energies and the support that is and will be around you going forward. Yeah, so Desert Passage. Do you believe there is a divine plan um, for some of you, Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope this reading, for whoever it's for, that it's given you a little bit of support and clarity. Um, I will be producing my weekly readings by the end of the week, so um, perhaps that's something for you to look out for, Scorpio. But um, look, good, look, good luck going forward, Scorpio. Uh, do take care, and I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye-bye for now.